Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AKA Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. I was planning on taking the day off completely today. Get ready for a big work week, but a commenter on my last video asked for a link to the video where you think had made all his claims of what should be seen in Antarctic footage. So I went to you thinks page and I saw the latest video he put up trying to critique the 24 hour footage of the sun in Antarctica. In the video, he claims that the lack of parallax is proof of fakery. To be clear which video, he's saying that the 360 degree video uh, that Dave McKeegan shot and uploaded tracking the sun for 24 hours lacks parallax and is thus proof of fakery. I'm gonna play the whole thing here so you don't have to give that guy any traffic for this nonsense. Hi folks. Oh, and let's make a little game out of it. Stop the video when you figure out his error and mark the timestamp in the comments. Uh, don't worry if your time isn't as early as someone else's. We don't all have the same level of technical knowledge. Okay, watch. Welcome back to my channel. This is another quick heads up before we do our final clip and we put things together. So I'm going to break things up in the process, post a video and, and explain a few things that when we put the video, the final video together, it's all going to make sense. In this video, we're going to show that there's no parallax shift in the footage that was given as evidence that they formed a 24-hour sun. When you look at the footage, you can see that there's problems and that the footage is fake. If you're rotating your camera, look at this footage, and I'm going to break it down and explain to you. This is normal. You can't avoid this. This must be evidence in your footage. So what is parallax shift? So look, when a person pans his camera to the right, as in this case, everything will move to your left, but they'll move at different speeds. So here you have a pillar. Behind the pillar, you have a lady. Behind that, you have the corner of the building. Now they're all in line. Now as a man pans his camera, they will move at different speeds. Things closer to the camera must move faster because they're closer to the camera. Things further away will move slower. As he keeps panning within that shot, where's the corner of the building now? And where's the lady? Look at the, the space. So the space between the beam, the lady, and the corner of the building widens out. Now this is what you expect to see. You can't avoid this. This must happen because this is normal. Right. So when the beam is out of the way, where is the corner of the building? Look at the gap between the corner of the building and the lady's head now. Right. So this is normal. Right, it's called parallax shift. So let's look at the footage again. And we're going to just do a, a, a quick step in the video footage. Right, so this must happen. It's called a parallax shift. You can't avoid this. Now let's compare and look at what's happening in the, the final experiment. You see how everything bends. There's no parallax shift. The gaps between the, the, the table and the tripod and the building at the back stay the same. There's no parallax shift. It means the footage is fake. So why would they do this? Well, what they're doing is they're taking the footage, they're putting the footage in a circle, they're wrapping it. Then they're rotating the footage because they need to fake the rotation of the, the, the sun. So remember, you can do it with a video or you can do it with an image. I'm using an image in this, but I'm showing you the warping and why it's warping. If I take this image, for example, right, I make sure the join is accurate, it's spot on, I rotate the image. You'd think, well, the camera's moving. No, the footage is moving because that's why it's warping. Can you see how it bends? It warps in, the sun gets bigger and the sun warps and gets smaller. Well, that's what's happening here. There's no parallax shift, it means the footage is fake. So this is just one aspect. So think of it like a puzzle. You put all these pieces of puzzle together. So the footage has already been proven as fake, but this is small pieces of the puzzle. So why would they do this? And I'm going to bring this out in another video. It's to fake their position and, and the sun's motion. Right? And, and the, the sun's position to the earth. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to show exactly what they're doing and why they needed to do it. But they couldn't fake the parallax shift. Did you catch it? <laughs> it's okay if you didn't. Obviously, you think didn't. Those who know a bit about cameras caught the error before I played his video. Pretty much right when I said parallax. Because parallax requires movement in the camera. The example you think uses in his video is a person turning a camera around. But here's the issue you think, and anyone who has already parroted him. The 360 degree camera does not have to move to capture the sun. It captures everything at the same time. The video that Dave exported was focused on the sun at all times, but the camera did not turn to follow the sun because it was looking at the sun at all times. Here, I can do it with a regular camera. Here's a little footage of the items in front of me and this medallion traveling across. 
there is no parallax because the camera doesn't move. Now here's the same footage with the medallion kept centered the entire time. No parallax here either. If I claimed that the camera was moving, you could use the lack of parallax to prove I was lying. But I don't claim the camera is moving. The medallion is in the camera's view at all times. The same is the case with McKeegan's time lapse. The top and bottom videos are taken from the same file. The top footage is focused on keeping the sun centered. The bottom is not. Look, you think, you say this video is going to be a part of a larger video debunking the whole Antarctic expedition. And while I know nothing can stop you from doing that, let me suggest you leave this part out. Because you just show that you don't know how a 360 degree camera works. I get it. You set out parameters that the footage had to meet prior to the trip, and it met those parameters. So now you have to discredit the footage. But dude, that's just embarrassing. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.